Sean Russell, welcome to the Off The Ball League of Ireland podcast. Sean, how are you? Good, thanks, Jamie. It's good to be on. Great, Sean. Thanks for having a chat. Sean Russell, what age are you, please? I'm 24. You're 24. Okay, Sean Russell, 24, recently signed for Galway United, made his debut in the FAI Cup at the weekend in a 4-0 win over North End United. Looking at your list of clubs, Sean, UCD, Longford, Shells, Limerick, Louisville City in America, Drogheda, Atlanta City in America, and Galway United. So for a young man in his mid-20s, you've had uh, lots of different experiences in League of Ireland football and abroad, and now you've signed for Galway. So just talk us through your, your path to, uh, to arriving down there in, in, in Galway. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. I've experienced uh, a lot of different clubs, um, and uh, you know, I think it's been good for me um, to experience at a young age. Um, I've arrived at Galway off the back of Atlantic City after my second spell in America. Um, it was something that I was always looking to do: was get out and try it out there. Um, having gone from League of Ireland, having played so many games. Already, yeah, Sean, so speaking to me first about your recent uh, move to Galway, a 4 0 win in the FAL Cup over North End at the weekend into the next round, home to Bowles and first division, you know, six points off fourth, so a little bit to do with a few games left there, but into the next round of the Copa and happy to, to make your uh, League of Ireland return again. Yeah, I was up in the moment to be back playing League of Ireland. Um, it was a good win for us. Um, definitely stuff positive and negative to take from it going forward into the last run in for the season. But um, I mean, as far as Galway, like we've got we've got a lot to do. But it's it's good to have something to play for um, for the rest of the season to go out and try win every game and the cup run as well is something that we're looking at. You know that we really think that we could um, do well in. You know if we ourselves 100% so um, there's still a lot to play for for the last few games of the season Yeah of course and into the next round of the Cup as we said against Bohemians who had a fantastic win in Wexford so it's an interesting game I suppose both teams will fancy their chance of getting through to the quarterfinals and that's the great thing about the FAI Cup is that if you win two games you're into the last eight already which is uh, something that you know, not many other cup competitions have. So for a team like Galway in the first division, as we said, the playoffs are probably unlikely. It really does keep things going for you season wise. Yeah, definitely. Um it's uh, it's big for our season to uh have a good run in this uh cup, you know, um Bowes are a good team. Um they're flying at the moment, scoring plenty of goals, so we'll be well at going into the game. But we definitely think um on a day, you know, we can um, we can really put it to anyone so um We've uh, we've got a good chance going into it, but um, we'll be no doubt well. And the run Bray um, balls are on, sorry, and um, yeah, we'll be really looking forward. To it. It's going to be tough. Yeah, and you're back in the league action this uh, weekend as well, okay. Sean. This coming Friday against Longford, uh, a very important game for both teams given the the positions in in the league. Just tell me a little about your, your thoughts on on that game. And you know, Longford are only two points ahead of you. They're four off fourth. You're six off fourth, as we said. So it really is probably win or bust for both. With with only uh, four games left after this weekend as well. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Both of us want to go out and win the game. Both of us going to have to win the game. So it's uh, it's going to be a good one. You know, um, uh, it's, it's to, to be honest, it's the kind of game that you want to play in as a player. You know. Um, these games are always good and they'll be a fight no doubt but um, looking forward to getting out, um, getting out there and hopefully getting the result you know, that we need yeah, Sean, I'm interested finally in your time in America. I mentioned at the start that you played for Louisville City from January 2017 to the summer of 2017 and, and more recently with Atlanta City. Just explain to me how those moves have come about and ultimately as well, I suppose, how come you're home again? Um, originally, when I went to America, um, I was fortunate enough I got an opportunity from um, James O'Connor, who's a coach over at Louisville City. He, um, got in touch with me off the back of uh, we had a good season at Limerick, um, and I went over to Louisville and I was really impressed with the setup and over there. Um, for me, at the time, unfortunately, um, I really struggled to settle um, being away from home. Um, and I returned back to play League of Ireland and having, hadn't thought about my time there um, I wanted to give it another chance you know. so I went back um, over to Atlantic City it wasn't quite the same as the previous club I'd been at and um, things didn't work out there so you know, I'm happy to be home playing League of Ireland again 
Yeah, it's something that a lot of Irish young people have done, particularly not so much from a point of view of going to play for clubs, but going to college. And, you know, we have the likes of Kieran Uncle Duff and James Chambers and others over there playing in, in the NESL and, and, you know, Richie Ryan and so on and so forth. But the route you took to go to, like, a lower league club as such and, and not involving a college was something that you definitely wanted to do. And you went to try it twice, which I suppose shows, you know, how much you thought America could work. And, and at the time when you went, you had real hopes of, of, of going to play there for a number of years and it hasn't worked. What's football like there and in terms of any, maybe in comparison to, to the league here? Um, the first club I went to, Louisville, um, ended up winning the championship that year in the USL. So it was a really, really strong team. Um, some very good players. Um, as far as professionalism goes and the standard and setup, it was it was fantastic club. And you know, um, unfortunately for me, just personally, I just couldn't settle to uh, day to day life there. And um, you know, I I opted to come home. But um, standard wise, it was excellent um, at Louisville. Um, there's, there's a lot of talent. Um, very good club. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see why the likes of Paddy Barrett and Richie Ryan are really enjoying it in that league over there now. And James Chambers. Um, my second spell over there, I, I went over to the league below. I'd been at previously just to get myself back, back, um, back playing over there. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't what I thought it would be. Um, it was a new club setting up, with big aspirations, and things just didn't work out for that club. So um, I was happy to come home and play League of Ireland. Um, check. Is it something, Sean? Finally, that you would recommend to other young Irish players to try it? As you said, the football is great. I suppose like any other young person when you leave the city or the country you live there is you know a, a period that we have to try and set and it doesn't work for everybody but from a football point of view is it something that you would recommend given the other challenges that you're faced with as well? well 100% um, I'd recommend it to anyone I think going out your comfort zone and um, like I met a lot of good friends a lot of good people learned a lot of new cultures football wise and stuff um, so I'd 100% recommend it especially the education route for young lads with scholarships and um, are available to them, to them nowadays um, and 100% there would be times probably it's difficult being away but um, it's it's definitely something that I would recommend to people to try you know because there's uh, opportunities out there outside of our own league as well um, which um, should be looked at by everyone you know Sean Russell thanks a million for your time best of luck on Friday as we said in a huge game for Galway and we'll speak again soon thanks Sean brilliant Jake thanks for having me on cheers